the women's reservation bill is also called as option a nari shakti vandan abhiniyam option b mahila suraksha bill option c beti bachao abhiyan option d stri swabhiman act the answer for this question is option a nari shakti vandan abhiniyam question number 2 the women's reservation bill is approved by option a rajya sabha option b lok sabha option c president's house option d supreme court the answer of this question is option a rajya sabha third question is how many members voted in the favor of women reservations bill in the rajya sabha according to the statement option a 214 members option b 100 members option c 50 members and option d 0 members the correct answer of this question is option a 214 members fourth question is according to the union law minister arjun ram meghwal how many members spoke in the favor of women reservation bill during the marathon debate option a 132 members b 72 members c 214 members and d 100 members the answer of this question is option b 72 members fifth question is which government welfare schemes for the benefit of the women were appreciated by union law minister arjun ram meghwal so option a ujwala yojana and mudra yojana option b ujwala yojana and beti bachao abhiyan option c mudra yojana and swachh bharat abhiyan and option d pradhan mantri jan dhan yojana and make in india the answer of this question is option a ujwala yojana and mudra yojana sixth question is according to the union finance minister nirmala sitaraman how much reservation does the women's reservation bill provide in the lok sabha and state assemblies option a 1/4 b 1/3 c half and d 2/3 the answer of this question is option b 1/3 our seventh question is what is the timeline of the women's reservation bill A 1996 1998 1999 2004 2010 B 1998 2003 2008 2010 and 2012 C 2000 2004 2008 2012 and 2016 Option D 2003 2006 2009 2012 and 2015 The answer of this question is option A 1996 1998 1999 2004 2010 Our eighth question is what has been one of the reasons cited for the failure to pass the women's reservation bill in India option A lack of women's participation in the politics B heated debates and sexist taunts option C over representation of obc women option D lack of support from neighboring countries The answer of this question is heated debates and sexist taunts. Ninth question is what is the current national average for women's representation in all the state assemblies in India? Option A 20%, B 15%, C 8% and D 30%. The answer of this question is option C 8%. Tenth question is why is the women's reservation bill considered as important? Option A it diverts attention from larger political issues B it ensures that women have a say in how their lives are governed C it prompts electoral reform D it reserves seats for women only in rural and urban local governments The answer for this question is option B it ensures that women have a say in how their lives are governed Our 11th question is The bill proposed dash percent reservation for women in parliament and state assemblies. Option A 33%, B 50%, C 25% and D 40%. The answer of this question is option A 33%. Our 12th question is who is law and justice minister of India? Option A Narendra Modi, B Rajnath Singh, C Amit Shah and D Arjun Ram Meghwal. The correct answer for this question is option D Arjun Ram Meghwal. 
13th question is which is the first bill to be introduced in the new parliament a research national research foundation bill 2023 b nari shakti vandan act 2023 c digital personal data protection bill 2023 d births and deaths registration bill 2023 the answer of this question is option b nari shakti vandan act 2023